Hello dolls, it's me, Babs, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about how you could be a star patient. For one, be on time. I cannot stress how important it is to be on time because a lot of the times when you're running behind is because the person ahead of you or two appointments ahead of you were late and that just makes everyone else late. If you can't be early, which is best, because many times you will be given a form to fill out, at least be on time. Some tips on how to be on time. First, know where you're going. Another reason why people are late, they don't know where they're going. And it's understandable because a hospital is a big place. It consists of several buildings and once you're inside, you could get lost. So I totally understand. So before, so when you make your appointment, before you leave, make sure you're going to the correct place. And if you know that you're running late, call ahead and we'll try to accommodate you in some form or fashion. Another tip to be on time, be aware of separate appointments. Sometimes you may have more than one place to go in one day in different locations. So you should know where you're going, where each appointment is, and what time those appointments are. The second tip on how to be a star patient, and this one is a big one, know what you're getting before you see the tech. Know what the exam is for. Now I'm an OBGYN technician, so I see pregnant women and non-pregnant women, but this could be good for you men out there also. If your doctor sees you and tells you you need such and such exam, find out what those exams are and why you need them. So when you go to that appointment to get the test that you need, you don't need to ask the technician what the test is and what it's for because you already know. Now, I don't know how other people are and how other techs are or other ultrasound technicians, but I know that I can't stand it when people don't know what the exam is for. Like you're here, like let's say you're pregnant. You're pregnant and you don't know what test you're getting. Now I understand it's like when you go in the airport and everyone just becomes stupider once you enter the airport. Everyone gets just a little bit stupid when they enter the doctor's appointment. So your mind is kind of like exposed, not really focused, you're not really listening. And sometimes an appointment goes by really fast and you didn't get a chance to absorb the information. So you may not know what the exam is for, but please, please, before you leave, Talk to your doctor and have him or her reiterate what the exam is and what it's for and why do you need it. I cannot tell you how many times a patient will come in my room and will say, what's this first trimester screening for? Why do I need it? Will it ensure that my baby is okay? Does my insurance cover it? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. That's not for me to answer. You have to talk to your doctor for that. The third tip on how to be a star patient, do not ask for the results of the ultrasound or whatever test that you're getting. We technicians, at least here in the United States, are not supposed to give you the results. That's for your doctor. Because God forbid there is something wrong. And then you ask us, is everything okay? Is there something wrong? What can we tell you? Are we gonna say yes, and then you freak out on us, and then we don't have the full information for you? It really isn't our place to tell you. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry to tell you. You know how many times someone comes in for an anatomy scan? That's a very detailed exam. And then there's... All right. You know how many times a patient will come into my room and while I'm scanning them, they're asking me, how is everything? But they're seeing the doctor right after and then they get upset that I can't tell them the 
and then they get upset that I can't give them the results? You're seeing your doctor in five minutes. You can't wait five minutes? Please wait the five minutes and get the full report from your doctor. If you're not seeing your doctor right after, wait until your doctor calls you or wait until the day that you do see your doctor or call your doctor. And the fourth tip on how to be a star patient, which is also consistent with the previous tip on not asking for the results is do not ask for leading result questions. Do not ask, does the baby have two kidneys? What's that black hole? Is everything okay so far from what you can tell? And my favorite, I know you can't tell me, but no, I can't tell you. So sorry about it. Now I know I might be sounding harsh, and I don't mean to be. I'm just giving the, I'm just giving you the reality of it. These are important tips. Now there are exceptions to every rule, especially when it comes to not giving the results. There are ways around it that we technicians have. That's not what this video is about. So let's move on to the fifth tip on how to be a star patient. And number five, and one of the biggest, if not most important tip on how to be a star patient, do not record or take pictures during the exam. Now, some offices will allow recording, but many places won't. If you're not sure, just ask. And if we say no, please, please, do not try to record behind our backs. It is so annoying and so disrespectful. I cannot stand it. It is so disrespectful. Please just be respectful and not record. If you're getting an ultrasound of a baby, we will give you pictures. If you're getting an ultrasound, you know, of your uterus and your ovaries, sorry, we can't give you pictures. But why would you record anyway? That's weird. So that's it. Those are my five tips on how to be a star patient. I really hope I didn't offend anyone. If I did, I'm so sorry. This is just how a lot of texts are. And if your experience has been different, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm sure a lot of people's experiences will be different and their text gave them all the information that the person asked. I mean, they really shouldn't have, but there you go. Sometimes it does happen. So if you guys want a part two to this video with five more tips on how to be a star patient, let's get this video to 500 likes. Why not? I'm feeling ambitious. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and eye-opening and I'll see you on the next one. But please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and share. I mean, <laughs> if you want. Ciao.